is Trevor Stratton. I am a father, I'm a brother, I'm a grandfather, I'm a son, also a person who loves to cook, I love to travel, and I'm HIV positive. In 1990, when I was diagnosed, there was no treatment. So HIV was actually much scarier then. Telling people I was HIV positive would mean instantly that they would be afraid. So it was interesting that every time I did end up disclosing, I would have to relive my own diagnosis, but also support my friends and my family as they went through the shock, the fear, uh, and the stigma and eventually came around to accepting my status as I had. I spoke in public on my own First Nation, Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. I spoke about my HIV status, I talked about being a bisexual, I talked about drug use, I talked about prison, and I thought there would be a huge backlash because, you know, our, fam our communities are very tight. And after I told my story, I didn't know how they would react, but the, the older ladies from my community started lining up and one by one they hugged me and told me how proud they were of me and how much they supported what I was doing and thought it was a really good thing to be doing. After I was diagnosed, I stayed single for a couple of years and then I went on a whim. I went to, on vacation to a trip to Jamaica and I met this woman my age who uh, thought I was pretty hot and so she said, I want you to come and stay in my tent because we were camping on the beach in the grill in Jamaica. And so I did, but I was thinking, well, I can either tell her I'm HIV positive, no, I'm not doing this, or I can just go and be with her. So I was so terrified to have sex. I didn't have condoms on me either. And I didn't want, actually, I didn't want to have sex with her without disclosing, but I wasn't ready to disclose. So we just slept there and we, we kissed and cuddled all night and it was gorgeous. The memory is still fresh in my head like it was yesterday. She wrote her phone number on a Kleenex, a piece of uh, a serviette, and I kept that and went home the next day and started writing her letters. And we had a long distance relationship where we wrote letters back and forth. We ended up getting married. For, we were in a relationship for 10 years and she was a great support to me and my son who from a previous relationship eventually came to live with us. So my wife and my son were my, and my mom were my biggest supports. And I think if it wasn't for my son and my wife that I may not have ever started antiretrovirals and I wouldn't have been here. I wouldn't be here today. On this Valentine's Day, my message to other people living with HIV in Canada is that you can do this. You can live long, you can live healthy and have a productive, happy life.